A Russian soldier has been given life in prison for the murder of a 62-year-old Ukrainian man. Vadim Shishimarin is the first person to stand trial for war crimes since the start of Russia's invasion. It comes as President Zelensky of Ukraine told the World Economic Forum that Russia should be punished for its invasion of his country in order to discourage future international aggression. Our correspondent Joe Inwood has the latest. <laughs> This was a moment of great significance. The first Russian soldier officially declared a war criminal. 21-year-old Vadim Shishmarin sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder of Alexander Shelepov. The Russian tank commander had admitted killing the 62-year-old, but said he was simply following orders. A Ukrainian court disagreed and gave him life. But almost at the same time, another announcement was being made. Here in the capital, there will be real anger at the news that the defenders of Azovstal, men who are considered national heroes for their defense of Mariupol, are to be tried in what's being called an international tribunal in the Donetsk People's Republic. The news was made by Denis Pushilin, the leader of the breakaway region. We haven't got more details yet, but it could be he's referring to all of the fighters or just the leadership. As legal battles were being concluded, real fighting has continued to escalate. It is now focused in the Donbass, what was the industrial heartland of the Ukrainian economy. This oil refinery outside Lysyshansk was struck by Russian shelling as they continue their advance towards the city of Severodonetsk. The toll of this war has been terrible on Ukraine, on its people and its economy. Speaking at the World Economic Forum in Davos, there was a plea for help. She if we had received 100% of our needs at once back in February, tens of thousands of lives would have been saved. That is why we need all the weapons we are asking for, not just what is being provided. That's why we need funding, at least 5 billion US dollars a month, and all the funds we need to rebuild our economy. Meanwhile, Russian armor continues to advance on the eastern stronghold of Severodonetsk, with all but one bridge to the city destroyed. While people talk of reconstruction in Davos, on the ground, the destruction continues. Joe Inwood, BBC News, Kyiv.